Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I am Death from Above. It's Friday, which means Zur has joined us in the tower. He's in the bar. If you zone in, go to the right, go all the way past Dead Orbit, go down the stairs, and come into the bar, past the dancing area. This is the dancing area. You must dance here. Uh, come back here. He's hanging out back here in the bar, a.k.a. Strip Club. And uh, he's got some stuff for us this week, so let's take a look. We'll talk about it. We'll start from the bottom, work our way to the top like we always do, and go over what he's got. So if you like the rocks that he's got, he's got two strange coins for one mode of light. If you're really interested in that, it's a bad exchange, but you can do it if you need it. He has a plasma drive, an emerald coil to upgrade your rare sparrow to legendary status. If you are into that sort of thing. Then he has... Uh, one heavy ammo synthesis, or three heavy ammo synthesis for one strange coin, three, or seven, five, three of coins for seven strange coins, and three glass needles for three strange coins, three modes of light, and one exotic shards. Sorry, it's all the same every week, and I don't know why I had a trouble reading it this week. I could just, like, write it down and say it the same every time, but I don't know. Whatever. Uh, weapon ornaments this week. We're all 15 silver dust closer to being able to buy one of these. Uh, thanks, Bungie. Uh, he's got the Heart of Gold ornament for your truth. This will turn the truth gold, I believe. And then he's got the one that I want. The Fallen Assassin weapon ornament for uh, Trespasser. I think this turns it into... Anyway, it makes it look awesome. And I want it. I don't have any silver dust. Maybe I'll get some later. Probably not. Um, <clears throat> but here we go. Start at the top. Now, remember guys, last week he was selling a regular old exotic gauntlet ingram this week he's selling an exotic legacy helmet ingram this will decode into a year one exotic at 170 defense so if you need to fill out your your bank uh fill out your collection this is where you get it but if you're trying to get something you can use this is not the place but that is there if you want it for 29 strange coins now for the armor he has the immolation fist for your titan this grants explosive pyre on your uh, Sunbreaker so you don't have to unlock it. It has a strength roll with intellect on it. Rain blows, impact induction, scout rifle loader, and shotgun loader. Um, it's all right. Unlock Sunbreaker, subclass node, explosive pyre for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fire, solar damage to other enemies. That's what it does. Next up, for your Warlock, we have the Skyburners Annex, or sorry, for your Hunter. You can tell how much I've used the Skyburners Annex. Um, this gives you a chance to create orbs on heavy weapon kills, and with a full super, orbs may grant special ammo. Interesting situation here. I can't think of too many places where I would use this over another exotic, but this one has an intellect discipline roll, and if you don't already have it, you can pick it up to fill out your collection. Next up, we have the Stag Helmet for your Warlock. Once per life, fast supercharge when all teammates die. Chance to spawn with an overshield. This could be useful in PvP. Uh, could be useful in other situations. It is a discipline strength roll, which I actually like on a warlock. So, not bad. Uh, I haven't used it too much. I've had one for a while. Uh, and then finally, the gun. We got the Hawk Moon. If you don't have a Hawk Moon, now is the time to get the Hawk Moon. Uh, Hawk Moon hand cannon is a really, really cool exotic. It basically gives you luck in the chamber three times. Uh, the exotic talent is called Holding Aces. Two more random bullets in your magazine deal considerable bonus damage. Uh, so you do get luck in the chamber, then you get an extra luck in the chamber. It's a very good hand cannon. If you don't already have it, I definitely recommend picking it up. Solid choice. It's not as good as it was in year one, but it's still good. Um, if we want to look at the uh, ornaments, we have Carry On, which basically gives it blood splatter. And then we have Moon Glow, the one that looks awesome those feathers will light up when you shoot it uh, very very cool I don't know if carry on does anything when you shoot it it probably does uh, I just don't know so that is the Hawk Moon and uh, like I always tell you guys if you don't have any of these go ahead and pick them up you never know when Bungie might buff nerf or change something make these exotics more useful less useful or you know if you're a collector just pick them up I like it so uh, until next time guys thanks for watching check out the other videos on the channel we got a lot of good stuff going on and if you ever want to find me, I am Death from Above. That's D E A T H F R 0 M A B O V E X. On the Twitter, the Twitch, and the YouTubes. Uh, if you ever come by, say hi. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later. See you bye.